Hey there! Welcome to another exciting new episode of the Ink Cyclopedia. This is Ink Cyclopedia Lite, and um, I know I have not been doing these videos for a while. I know that people really like them. It was just time restraints, guys. I just I, I can't do everything. So I focused on fountain pen reviews. Right now I have a little bit more time, and uh, La Couronne du Comte was kind enough to send me Diamine Autumn Oak to review. A uh, link uh, to the shop is in the description of the video. Let's have a look what this ink is all about. Now, I was very impressed, so let's just do a bit of writing. Uh, what impressed me about the ink is that it has a very nice shading. And even with this fine nib, it is a flex nib. But even with this fine nib, you see that shading. And that is a little bit like Apache Sunset by Noodlers, which I think is a bit more orangey. But this is not a Noodlers ink, it's a Diamine ink. And I, I find this a very pleasant ink to use. It also has excellent flow. I've not had any issues, and I'm moving on to a medium pen. Uh, medium nib, this was the Surwax MB, and this is the um, uh, Monteverde Artista Crystal. And as this nib gets a little, the nibs get a little broader, you can really see the shading very well. Here we have a very wet, um, broad Lamy Safari. Again, as I said, very good flow, and I really, really admire the shading in this ink. Very, very pleasant. Um, then we have, let's do an italic nib. This is the uh, Italics Parsons Essential. Very nice pen. and then a little bit of shading. You see that in a very wet nib it's a more saturated uh, brown. Here it is a, a somewhat lighter brown but again I think you can really see that, that shading. Now let's do in this Pilot Parallel 6mm let's do a D for Diamine. And again, you really see the shading. There will be pictures of the writing sample on the website, sbrebrown.com. Um, the final thing I would like to do is a little bit of flexi writing. And the pen runs dry, but that's all right. Yeah, I think it has shown off enough of the flex writing. Now, uh, I think the last thing we should check is its waterproofness. So 
So I give this just a few seconds to dry up. Uh, it's also an ink that looks nice in demonstrator type pens because it's fairly light so it remains transparent, which I've always enjoyed. Okay, I think this is dry, uh, pretty much. That means we can introduce some water and we just see what happens. And, and to be honest, I think it's going to pretty much dissolve. But in any case, I do think it's a very fascinating ink. But, not something you buy for its waterproofness. So, there you have it. Diamine Autumn Oak. I hope I've convinced you of its beauty because this is one of my absolute new favorites. Uh, thanks to La Corombe du Comte for supplying me with a bottle to test it. Guys, I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.